Welcome to Magical Book. In today's lesson, Lily will take you on a delightful spa day filled with fun and a few surprises. Along the way, you'll pick up useful English vocabulary used in everyday conversations. This is a great opportunity for you to practice and improve English listening and speaking skills. Listen carefully. DIY Spa Day Hey again, it's Lily, back with another tale from the roller coaster ride called Life. Last weekend, my friends and I decided to have a DIY spa day at home, you know, face masks, cucumber slices on eyes the whole shebang, it sounded like the perfect way to unwind after a hectic week. I gathered all the ingredients for the face masks, set up fluffy towels, everything was going according to plan until I reached for the avocado. Now, let me tell you, I'm not the most skilled in the kitchen, avocado, more like a voca don't for me, as I attempted to scoop out the flesh. The avocado slipped from my grasp and landed splat on the floor, leaving a green mess everywhere. Of course, my friends found this hilarious and dubbed me the avocado queen. We laughed it off and moved on to the next step mixing up the face masks. Simple, right? Wrong again. I misread the recipe and ended up adding way too much honey. The masks turned into sticky goo that refused to stay on our faces. We looked like we'd been attacked by a swarm of bees. But you know what? We didn't let a little avocado mishap or sticky face masks ruin our fun. We turned it into a comedy hour, taking goofy selfies with our failed spa attempts and laughing until our stomachs hurt. After our spa adventures, we ordered pizza because who can mess up pizza right? And watched cheesy rom-coms until we fell asleep on the couch. The next morning, as I cleaned up the avocado disaster zone, I couldn't help but smile. Life's funny like that full of unexpected twists, messy moments, and laughter that turns mishaps into memories. So here's to embracing imperfections, laughing at ourselves, and finding joy in the little things. Because in the end, it's these moments that make life beautifully chaotic and wonderfully unpredictable. Now it's time for practicing. Repeat after Lily. Hey again, it's Lily. Back with another tale. From the roller coaster ride called Life. Last weekend, my friends and I decided to have a DIY spa day at home. You know, face masks, cucumber slices on eyes. The whole shebang. It sounded like the perfect way to unwind. After a hectic week, I gathered all the ingredients for the face masks, set up fluffy towels. Everything was going according to plan. Until I reached for the avocado. Now, let me tell you. I'm not the most skilled in the kitchen. Avocado? More like avoca don't for me. As I attempted to scoop out the flesh, the avocado slipped from my grasp and landed splat on the floor, leaving a green mess everywhere. Of course, my friends found this hilarious. and dubbed me the Avocado Queen. We laughed it off and moved on to the next step. Mixing up the face masks. Simple right? Wrong again. I misread the recipe. 
and ended up adding way too much honey. The masks turned into sticky goo. That refused to stay on our faces. We looked like we'd been attacked by a swarm of bees. But you know what? We didn't let a little avocado mishap. Or sticky face masks ruin our fun. We turned it into a comedy hour. Taking goofy selfies. With our failed spa attempts. And laughing until our stomachs hurt. After our spa adventures. We ordered pizza because who can mess up pizza, right? And watch cheesy rom-coms. Until we fell asleep on the couch. The next morning. As I cleaned up the avocado disaster zone. I couldn't help but smile. Life's funny like that. Full of unexpected twists, messy moments. And laughter that turns mishaps into memories. So here's to embracing imperfections. Laughing at ourselves. And finding joy in the little things. Because in the end, it's these moments that make life beautifully. Chaotic and wonderfully unpredictable. Now let's learn some interesting vocabulary words from the story for better understanding. Here's a vocabulary list that we learn in this story. Let's practice together. Unwind, to relax and let go of stress or tension. Example, after a long day at work, she likes to unwind by taking a bubble bath and reading a book. Shebang, used informally to refer to a situation or event that includes everything related to it. Example, they planned a party with decorations, music, food the whole shebang. Hectic, very busy, fast-paced, or chaotic. Example, the holiday season at the mall is always hectic, with shoppers rushing to buy gifts. Gathered, to collect or bring together things in one place. Example, she gathered all the necessary ingredients before starting to cook dinner. Skilled, having the ability, knowledge, or expertise in doing something well. Example, the chef was highly skilled in creating gourmet dishes. Scoop, to lift or gather something using a utensil or tool with a curved or hollowed out part. Example, she used a spoon to scoop out the ice cream from the container. Misread, to interpret or understand something incorrectly. Example, he misread the map and ended up getting lost on the hiking trail. Swarm, a large group of insects or other small creatures moving together. Example, a swarm of bees gathered around the hive to protect their queen. Comedy, something humorous or amusing, often involving funny situations or jokes. Example, the comedian's stand-up routine was filled with witty comedy that had the audience laughing nonstop. Embrace, to accept and welcome something, especially differences or imperfections. Example, she learned to embrace her flaws and appreciate herself for who she was. Listen to the story carefully one more time. Hey again, it's Lily, back with another tale from the roller coaster ride called Life.
Last weekend, my friends and I decided to have a DIY spa day at home, you know, face masks, cucumber slices on eyes the whole shebang, it sounded like the perfect way to unwind after a hectic week. I gathered all the ingredients for the face masks, set up fluffy towels, everything was going according to plan until I reached for the avocado. Now, let me tell you, I'm not the most skilled in the kitchen, avocado, more like a voca don't for me, as I attempted to scoop out the flesh, the avocado slipped from my grasp and landed splat on the floor, leaving a green mess everywhere. Of course, my friends found this hilarious and dubbed me the avocado queen, we laughed it off and moved on to the next step mixing up the face masks, simple right, wrong again. I misread the recipe and ended up adding way too much honey, the masks turned into sticky goo that refused to stay on our faces, we looked like we'd been attacked by a swarm of bees. But you know what? We didn't let a little avocado mishap or sticky face masks ruin our fun, we turned it into a comedy hour, taking goofy selfies with our failed spa attempts and laughing until our stomachs hurt. After our spa adventures, we ordered pizza because who can mess up pizza right, and watch cheesy rom-coms until we fell asleep on the couch. The next morning, as I cleaned up the avocado disaster zone, I couldn't help but smile. Life's funny like that full of unexpected twists, messy moments, and laughter that turns mishaps into memories. So here's to embracing imperfections, laughing at ourselves, and finding joy in the little things. Because in the end, it's these moments that make life beautifully chaotic and wonderfully unpredictable. Great job following our English lesson today. You did well to listen and practice so much. Keep practicing because it helped you get better. Every time you learn, you are closer to speaking English really well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more of our lessons.